Welcome to Gaming on the Backlog. Today, this is a brand new channel and a brand new video of me clearing my backlog. Yes, I'm going to have made a YouTube channel. I am dedicated to clearing my backlog. And one of those games is Blasphemous. Now, I remember buying this game when its DLC came out and I played it for like three hours and then I stopped. And this game's always stuck with me. Man, I just don't know what it was. It has always just stuck with me. And I always vowed one day I will finish it. So today we're going to start a brand new journey because I can't remember anything about this game. And I'm going to delve right into it. I'm playing on the PS4. And if you don't know what Blasphemous is, it's a 2D Metroidvania platformer retro game. I just know it has some crazy visuals. So join me on this journey as I get started. As you can see, there's my last uh, save. I did like three hours, but we're not going to do that. We're going to go straight into its new game and uh, see what Blasphemous is about. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty stoked. Uh, I can't wait to see how far I can get in this game. I know it's extremely difficult. It is not the sun rising, but our sins. Anonymous. Oh, well, okay. Because it is my guilt. I claim your grievous miracle. Make my chest hurt with regret. Forge your punishment and nail it deep. Shake my guilt once again. Okay. Damn. Ooh. Already the visuals. Great. Whoa. And thus, guilt, repentance, mourning, and every pain of the soul of all kind were visibly and tangibly manifested everywhere and in all of us. Sometimes in the form of blessing and grace, sometime in the form of punishment and corruption. That divine will, equally pious and cruel, which we could not and will never be able to unravel, was called the miracle. All right, all right. I'm probably going to miss a lot of story beats. I usually do with these type of games. Whoa, there's like a whole bunch of him. Representing our deaths, probably in this game. But already, crazy visuals and a, just a unique look. Brotherhood of the Silent Sorrow. Alright. All one. Alright, so this is our titular character. No idea who we are. Bilary Flasks. Press L1 to consume one of your Bilary Flasks and recover vitality. These constricted flasks are refilled by kneeling in a pyri dew. Find empty vessels to increase the amount you can carry. Alright, alright, so kind of like Estus Flask. Okay, well, here we are. <laughs> We're starting. I'm actually pretty excited. Like I said, I can't remember anything. I remember kind of some stuff of that opening. But nothing else. Well, just look at the background, all of us. This is all us. All right. Jump. We got a hit. Do we have like a power up? Nope. Uh, nothing else. Oh, oh, we got a slide. All right, here we go. Let's, let's start this journey. Okay. Okay, we've got X. Oh, all right. All right, well, we got this way. Oh, all right. Let's grab. Yes, that's a move. Okay, so, yeah. Some, uh, some retro controls here because this is how it used to be. R2 to slide. All right. Can we get in there? 
All right, we know double jump, so probably maybe get that later. Square. Oh, okay. Purity Dew. All right, press triangle to rest with the Purity Dew, saving your game and refilling your health and flaws. Upon death, you will respawn at the last visit of Purity Dew. Resting will cause enemies to respawn. All right, so this is kind of like a bonfire. All right, so just rest again. All right, good. Whoa. All right, so clearly we're on a pilgrimage of some sort. Brotherhood of Silent Sorrow, it said, right? Whoa, what's that in the background? Whoa! Oh, oh, this doesn't seem good. Warden of the Silent Sorrow. Oh, hey, man, what's up? Uh, ah! Oh, God. Slide, slide, slide. Oh, God. Slide. Jump, 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 jump. Ah, ah, slide. Hit, 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 hit. Okay. Oh, we can slide through him. Alright, good. Ah, Alright, perfect. Yeah, that's it. Oh. Okay, alright, alright. Okay, alright. There we go. Nope. Ah, ah there we go. Ooh. Requiem Etrium. I'm probably gonna butcher every single thing they say. Yeah. Oh, oh. That was that was actually pretty tough. Oh. Okay. I know, like, there's the whole resting in the blood of your enemies, but like. I think that takes it to a whole new extreme. Alright, so in the top right I see we have like 300, so that's probably souls. Um, let's heal. I don't trust what comes after this door. Okay. Oh. Triangle. You need a key to the chamber of the eldest brother to open this door. Okay. Oh. Oh. Jump. Okay. So, let's take a lever. The Holy Line. Alright, alright. Who is this? Regretful be the heart, penitent one. The anguish of the eldest brother has now come to an end. So, is that the eldest brother? So, he called me penitent one. So, I know who I am now. The penitent one. Witness to and narrator of the acts of the grievous miracle. Such is my penance, as yours is silence. Okay, all right. The Gradius. The cradle of affliction is what you seek. This can be found in the mother of mothers of the churches. It is a remote place separated from the rest of these lands by a great sacred and forbidden door. Even a wise penitent like me knows nothing of what lies beyond those high walls. However, what I do know is that, according to the rule, one must carry out the three humiliations to gain access to what they guard. All right. One of them must be performed in the high mountains, covered in thick blankets of snow and ice. All right, high mountains. Another in the depths of a dark, entombed church where the sleeper lies. All right, going down below. Of the trail carved by moans that claw their way out of an iron spiral in the bowels of the bell named Hondo, Hondo. Goes into the earth. Right. Take this thorn and place it on the handle of your sword. If, when the time comes, as you grip your 
weapon firmly, you notice that it wounds you and makes you bleed. Having grown with more thorns sprouting from it, writhing over the figure of the father carved into the knob, that will mean that you are at the mercy of the grievous miracle, whether for its punishment or its forgiveness. Oh, all right, so, like, if it hurts me? All right, got a thorn. You can check out the items you found so far in your inventory while playing, press options to open it. Oh, there's an inventory? Oh, okay. Oh, here we go, thorn. Small gift from Dagarius, nailed into the effigy of the Twisted. Under the guard of your sword, the thorns arisen from the miracle feed on sin and guilt, growing with the burden that it bear occurs. All right. Oh, there's law. Oh, all right. Here we go. The Garius farewell. Brother Abbott, you know that I have been a scribe in this abbey since I was but a wee child. I have written about our church, our saints, and our miracles of the greatest pain. I must inform you that I have made the decision to leave. Although I continue to co intend to continue writing, in these walls I cannot be a true witness of the works of the miracle. I need to appreciate with my own eyes your holy works I will be a teller of the miracle wherever it takes me, rain or shine, or the scorching sand under my bare feet. Oh, all right. So he left somewhere. What else do you want? All right, all right. All right, so... Yeah, three stuff. Oh, okay, cool. All right, save location. Perfect. Let's keep going. Whoa. Hey man, what's up? Uh, oh, okay. Enemy. Got it. Crow, can I kill you? Oh. Okay, can't kill crows. Alright, that's fine. Whoa. Advanced technique. Parry, counterattack, retribution. Ooh. Push R1 to parry. This maneuver allows you to counter weak attacks and deflect heavy strikes. During a counter, press the square button at the moment of the impact to perform a retribution. Increasing the force of the blow and stunning some enemies. Okay, let's test this. Oh, okay. Well, that didn't work. How do you do it? Alright, there we go. And then... Oh, okay. Alright, we're gonna keep testing this. Alright, alright. I'm going a little bit too early. I'm going a bit too late. There we go. Uh, can I go, can I, okay, well, we can't go down. Ow! I forgot I can slide. Uh, we'll just heal up. Let's keep going. Oh. Am I gonna die? No. Ah! What the hell? Oh, shit. Uh. Alright. Guys hiding underneath there. What's this? You have acquired Vidaris of the Forsaken Hamlet. In order to use this prayer, one must open the inventory and equip it. Alright. Let's open the inventory. Oh, here we go. Vidaris of the Forsaken Hamlet. Song that filled the air during the facilities of a lost forest. A village. Its power finds its way through the floor, continues through the walls and ceilings, harming the enemies of the Pentinent One. Oh. Whether in rain, sun, or wind, may this land be blessed. Whether walking in or in deep sleep, may this land be blessed. Whether by day or in obscurity, may this land be blessed. Alright. Equip. Alright. Equip a prayer in your inventory and then press L2 to invoke it. Prayers and prayers and some combat techniques use up fervor. Attack and execute enemies to fill up your fervor. Alright, alright. Oh, look at that. So that was that uh, icon filled up. And I can see I have three bars. So I have three I have three uh, choices. <gasps> There's one right there. Oh, no. We're not going to deal with this. So if I do this, will this kill? All right. I'm just going to kill you. You're annoying me. I can't get up there, can I? All right. So somewhere I have to be getting a double jump. keep going. I'm liking the music so far. I should be able to hang on to this. 
All right. Okay. All right, all right. Okay. Advanced technique, air impulse. Use R2 and square in the air to ascend after hitting an enemy. You can do this up to two times before landing. In the air? After hitting an enemy? All right, what the hell? What the hell is that? 138, you idiots. Children of Moonlight, you'll find them caged all over Co um, at Covistada. You can release them with any technique at your disposal. Damn, I need to get, get out of here. I need to get out of here. Forget it, we're gonna do this. Oh. All right, let's go. I wanted to know that technique. Wait, hold on. Oh my god, uh... I'm sorry, hold on. It's after hitting them. I... I gotta... I don't know. <laughs> what else do we have here in this thing? Oh, we have quest items. Oh, that's a quest item. Alright, rosary beads, prayer, abilities. Ooh. Uncollectibles. All right, all right, all right. What were those babies? Oh, children of moonlight, whatever they call them. All right, well, we'll deal with that later. They'll explain it to us, I hope. Ooh. There is no answer to our plea. The miracle has forsaken us, and my ornate throne turns its back. Albero, all right. Open, oh, push touchpad to open your map. All right, there's a map, good. Ooh, all right, here we go. We have a legend down here, it seems. Game options, oh, all right. Center, move, 3% of the map. Holy land, all right, all right. Marks, you can do markers here and you can see where the prayers things are all right okay good 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 yeah let's just heal up what the hell is this nope can i break it nope okay hold on okay well it doesn't show on the map so meaning you have to remember this all right Oh, people. Oh, triangle. Sorrowful be the heart, penitent one. Welcome to Albero, sanctuary to this humble brotherhood of the kissers of wounds. All right, Albero. So this is a sanctuary. Few right. remain here who can still employ it. But Tirso is my name. All right, I think here Tirso. There are few of us who still care for the sick and ailing. With devout kisses, we bless the wounds of those who seek our protection. Thus, both we and they remain at the mercy of the miracle. Mm. Time outside these walls passes by strangely. In sundowns, we need not contemplate. But if your penance happens to carry you under set skies, be so kind as to bring us some ingredients for our ointments. Okay. The will in the miracle shall show you which ones they are. All right. So is that like a quest now? Or must I remember that? Because I'll probably forget. What's down here? All right. Some more people. Nothing here. Ooh. Whoa! Well, we got this. You've acquired Calimion of Pearson the Banded. Uh, this button. Feared by... Oh, this is a collectible. Feared by his countrymen, Pearson... Pearson? Pearson. Attack routes without distinction between rich or poor, 
and always alone. The day he dragged himself to a bearer on the brink of death, no one took pity on him. Oh, what the hell is this? See, this is the thing about this game. Like, we're probably going to get so lost at first. Oh. But you eventually this just holy servant greets you, o will make a map of your own. Welcome to the ossuary of all those who will be eternally remembered. All right. My duty is none other than to provide shelter to each and every one of these skeletal remains that linger under these intangible veils of dust. It matters little how many years or centuries have passed. The bones speak to us through their creaking and grinding and through their silence. But these remains need one another in order to reveal the truth they still guard within. Only together, in intimate brotherhood, will they achieve eternal rest. For this, they beg that you help them. Bring them before me, and in this way, we will uncover the truth that they have silenced. Alright. Okay. Well, that seems to be another mission. Let me see if he has anything else to say. The bones, oh! Thank you for your help, O oh virtuous penitent one. Bring the bones before me. I'll cover the truth. All right. Oh, that that just popped in there. Was that the? Uh, it looks like it. This collectibles. Yeah. Oh, seems like they might be important. I don't know. I don't know if I'll even if I'll be able to. Like, I'm scared of going anywhere right now. Like, am I going the wrong way? The right way? Uh. Okay, no, we're not going that way right now. I think I've I've gone off the beaten path. I don't know if there is a path. That does doors open, yeah. Oh. Whoa, look at that. Oh, damn. All right, cutscene. I have to say, the visuals in this game look so good. And the music is good, too. There's nothing else like it, seriously. I mean, that 2D art style has been done before. Oh. Right? The virtue of Mia Culpa hath ascended. Alright. Mia Culpa Shrines. Visit Mia Culpa Shrines to increase the power of your sword. You can also spend Tears of Atonement, those, to unlock combat techniques. Visit additional shrines and increase Mia Culpa's strength to access more powerful techniques. Okay. Now, do we have any techniques? Nope. Well, we, we actually, no, we do. We do. Look. Oh, let's see what we got here. Forms a fourth combo finisher. Sinful Wrath. Uh, concentrates the power of the Mither Cooper on the blade, allowing the Penitent One to release its full potential in a single but incredibly devastating effect. Takes advantage of the speed of a fall to perform a powerful lunge like that. The, the Penitent One takes advantage of the dodge impulse to thrust at the enemies furthest away. Mm. I think that's 2,500, so... Let's do... Oh, I have to unlock the second level. Go to a Mia Cooper slime. So, isn't this one? Can't I use this one? Oh, here we go. Ah, he has it. Alright, good. Push circle to use a ranged attack. Fibrous blood. Sacred technique allows the Barret of the Mia Cooper to use the cut of its blade. To bless its own blood and turn it into throwing its weapon. Consumers fervor. All right, okay. Well, we can't do anything here. Well, that door is... Well, we can't go further. So, let's go this way. Let's see. There's a way up to, and then there's a way to the right. Time outside these walls. Passed by strange. All right, yeah, yeah. You said that. 
when I... Okay, there we go. Oh, he's one year. Awesome. Is this a collectible? Quiet dove shell. Rosary beads. Equip rosary beads in your rosary to improve the characteristics of the penitent one. Find additional knots to increase the number of beads you can equip. Alright. So those... Dove shell. Dove skull. Oh. Skull of a bird drilled as it's as a collet. Its apparent frailness slightly strengthens the penitent one's defenses. Alright, cool. Dove skull. That morning when the bonfires were lit and the convicts were raising their ghastly pleas to the indifferent inquisitors, a white dove came down from the heaven and perched on the shoulder of a prisoner, where it stayed until it burned with them. Alright. Whoa. What's this? Can't I use this? I can see that thing. Oh. Hold on. Hold on. Can I get it? Can I like slide and jump? Let's see. Let's see. Maybe I can get this. Let me just wait for him to come. Okay. No, I can't. Ooh. Alright, so he wants us to do separating from garden our holy burial as our charitable rule. Alright. Well, I'm gonna try to see if I can get that baby. Or Moonlight Children, if I remember, that's what they call it. Uh, okay, well, we can't. Well, uh, there's nothing else I can do here, so we're gonna go this way. Oh, alright, here we go. Balance of Brennan the Grave Digger. Brennan Joss M Mullins dug the graves of hundreds throughout his life, whether family, friend, or foe, but when the chaos arose, there was no one left to return the favor. Oh, so they just left them here. Awesome background. Look at that background. So great. Wasteland of the buried churches. Okay. You don't look fun. Okay. All right. That's not. I have to figure that R R two thing out. Okay, well, there's a way up and there's a way down. Oh, I don't care for you. Let's go this way. Oh, okay, well, now I know what you are. Oh, wow, okay. I have to figure out. There's something down there, I can see it. Gonna go this way. Oh well, we're not going that way anymore. All right, let's uh, go this way. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, she's got shields. All right. Good. We'll figure out how to be with you. Oh. Okay, up we go. More shields. Alright. Alright, so we can't do the... Okay, let's just parry him. Okay, well, that's not working. Got him. I'm gonna just slide through you. Oh. Alright, next. Heal up. I don't like where we're going and 
platform is not my strongest. I don't trust that. All right. And you. Okay. All right, so we don't have to be like crazy button mashing. Just checking. All right, we got a door here and down there. Oh, I'm gonna get. Oh boy. All right, let's go. Let's go the other way. Let's go down. Looks like we can go down. Ooh, look at that. Uh, I don't have that ability yet. Oh, wow, he was fast this time. Dead. Come, let's go, boy. Carry. Carry again. All right. Let's see what's this way. Uh, well, go big, go big, go home, right? Jeez. All right, we can't do that. What the hell? Okay. Oh, it's like a, a shockwave. Damn. The enemies in this game is wild. Oh, we're underneath the air again. You've acquired Uruya of, Proclama of Proclamation. All right, let me just probably hit that down, right? Yeah, all right, awesome. When Uvula is equipped, you have a chance of earning tears of atonement when destroying an object. Oh, all right, cool. Decree from His Holiness Excriber. It shall be called the Anointed Legion, said His Holiness. Under the armor, their bodies shall be covered with bandages, anointed with oils that I myself will bless. They'll protect the mother of mothers as I will protect them. Scriber, all right. Well, in we go. We have one health, but I still have a sh uh, an extra flask. So the enemies don't see that one was the toughest enemy so far. All right, we go. We can't go there. Come on, there we go. I feel like more now is stuck. All right. Okay, now let's just... Yep. And you. How do you... It said like... Oh. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. Oh, yeah. There we go. Also, remember, I can grab on ledges. You've acquired Capetha of Barak, the Herald. All right. Whether executioners or lashing, Barak was always there to proclaim them loudly. But his voice broke down gradually as day by day he had to announce the sentences of his entire family. Damn. Jeez, Barak, I'm sorry, man. Nope, we're gonna go this way. Kill him. Alright. Next you. Alright, calm down. All right, I don't know what that... I can't, I can't figure out what that is. There's a moonlight up there. No, I'm just gonna get hit. <sighs> just go this way. Throw your rock. I should be able to just... And then you. Yep. 2 at 38. All right. That means two things. One, either one out. It's gonna be easy to find them. Or it's gonna be hella tough. I'm gonna go this way. Oh, all right. Let's keep going. Uh, down. Can I safely go down? All right. All right. Well, that seems like a new area. Let's go this way. There we got two enemies. Oh wow, alright. Are they gonna stay there now? Alright, please. Okay. Come on, there we go. Oh gosh. What's up here? All right, we have like a hundred different ways to go now. We've got like 
four or five ways to go. No. Wait, what place is that now? Forgot, I didn't see its name. Uh, where olive trees were there? Enclosed convent. All right. Let's... Wasteland of the Barrier Church is all right. So... I am lost. Let's go this way. You know what? I don't have... I'll probably die. <laughs> so... It means going all the way back. I'm just gonna go straight. Let's see what happens straight. All right, more of the same. Let's see. We can't go that way down there, it seems. So we'll go here. Oh, another big boy down there. Come on. Definitely not. Nope. No, 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 no. Oh, well, come on. I don't like this. Can't do this. That actually killed him. Ow! Uh, I want to leave that down there. I just got to remember that I have to come back for it. Please give me... Please give me a safe place, please. <gasps> yes! Bridge of Three Cavalries. All right. Oh. All right. I think I'm going to call it here. This was just my first video, my first test. And I'm loving the game. It's starting to bring back some memories, but not a lot. And yeah. This is my first video, so... Jeez, do give me some tips and comments down below. Like, what is to play better and or where do I need to go? Something like that. I don't mind that tips but just don't spoil anything i do want to play this and i'm going to try to finish this before the sequel comes out but i'm not 100 sure when that sequel is coming one of the main reasons i wanted to start this channel was because blasphemous 2 is coming out and i really wanted to play blasphemous and i decided why not make a youtube channel it'll just help me clear the gigantic backlog of games i've got so uh like share the video all that stuff and uh, i'll see you next time in the next episode of blasphemous